You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. Anti-authoritarian feelings ran high in the years before and after the signing of the Declaration of Independence, as the Declaration's litany of complaints against the king suggests. So it's unlikely the Founding Fathers would have supported expansion of presidential powers and absolute immunity for official acts. The July 1st opinion from the so-called originalist members of the U.S. Supreme Court invokes Alexander Hamilton's Federalist Papers vision for a vigorous and energetic executive. Without that, quote, the president would be chilled from taking the bold and unhesitating action required of an independent executive. But that's not the whole story. Three other prominent framers of the U.S. Constitution, James Madison, Benjamin Franklin, and George Mason, feared the opposite and pushed for a multi-person executive council to decentralize power. Ultimately, they compromised, stipulating that the president should seek advice and consent from the Senate for appointments and treaties. Constitutional Convention Delegate James Wilson said during debates on the Constitution, Sir, we have a responsibility in the person of our president. He cannot act improperly and hide either his negligence or inattention. He cannot roll upon any other person the weight of his criminality. He continued, Far from being above the laws, he is amenable to them in his private character as a citizen and in his public character by impeachment. We have more at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. I'm Brian Beal.